Got to give thanks to my man, the League of Villains, once again coming through. Um, this one he had ordered off the Walgreens website, uh, Prototype Boba Fett. For some reason, it, their shipping was unbelievably slow. Um, this wasn't in stock for the longest time, but they sold it in stores. Uh, it was just unbelievable how slow it was. But, you know, I am patient and it paid off. So, I'm very, very happy to have this one, the collection. I do want to get another one, just keep one on the box and, you know, have this one displayed. Even though I don't know what I would ever do with this figure, but just display him properly. So in all, this Boba Fett is actually a really dope figure. You know, the paint is nice. Um, it's the same exact figure as uh, the original Boba Fett. It's just uh, the paint scheme is just so smooth. Came out really, really nice. Just a quick update on the trooper build. Got about five stormtroopers now. Always looking for more. I actually sent out um, one of the heads or the helmets uh, to a buddy out here in my area who was able to cast them uh, and he came out excellent I mean these things are just spot on you know I just have to paint it up a little bit but uh, it's just perfect uh, each one of the molds came out so nice and he's able to mold one all black so I thought that was really sharp and of course the clone troopers which seem to be non-existent now I cannot find any of them anywhere but that's all right. I'm about to probably order some online. All right, keep army building. I got to give a huge, huge thanks to Shardimus Prime. Uh, he was able to get me a whole bunch of figures. We actually did a trade uh, for the clone trooper. I'm giving him a, a stormtrooper, and then he gave me one of his uh, uh, wedding things. He, I think, Ro yeah, Rodine actually made this, and he sent me out a couple of them. He autographed it and everything. Daddy. So, what? Daddy. What? I don't even know what's going on. With. Okay. I'm gonna be nice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Just be my buddy. Okay, buddy. And then he also hooked it up with these. Uh, Daddy, <sighs> what are you doing? Yeah, just like I was saying, big thanks, Shardimus Prime, once again for this stuff. Uh, this right here is, you know, his wedding gifts to the people who attended. Of course, I did not attend the wedding because my invite was lost in the mail. But that's another story. But no, on the real, I'm very happy to receive this. I mean, extra big thanks again and congratulations, Shardimus, for doing it, getting uh, that final step in life, you know. I mean, that's it, tying it down. And he actually signed, both him and Nina signed uh, this one, so... Very happy about that. And of course, got some more of these uh, Spirit Robot Gundams. Uh, I have one, and I don't think. Do I? Yeah, I only have one of these. Now these ones are the not. The, they're not model kits. You know, they're already assembled, but super articulated. And come with a bunch of accessories. So I'm probably gonna review these individually. But again, you know, huge thanks. You know, this is how. Like I've always said, the strength of the community, you know, just going out of their way to help others out. I mean, it doesn't get no better than this. I know what people are going to say. It's another Predator figure. It's another same body mold. Same stuff by NECA. But I don't care. You know me, I love the Predators, man. The, the whole line... Uh, the concept of them is just amazing to me. I mean, yes, NECA uses the same body molds, um, but it's the helmets, the paintwork that gives them their unique characterization. I mean, these guys are, they're good. I mean, the, yes, they don't have the greatest uh, articulation, but, you know, just look at that helmet. I mean, that is cool. I'm digging this one. So this is the Enforcer. Um, you can see they got their kind of vintage, I think it was Kenner that did it back in the days. The old box art style. And this one, you know, a lot of people call it the Shredder helmet. Because look, it looks like Shredder. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. And then they got the others in the wave. Um, I think this one here is Viper. And then you got, of course, uh, Enforcer. And then I think the Ancient one. Is that what they called it? I can't remember, but it was on part two. He has the, the shotgun he threw with the Danny Glover. 
Uh, and I think this one is NECA's own design, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what they said. And here goes a little bio. You can pause it if you want to. Yeah, box art is cool. All right, so in another long run of Predators, let's crack them open. All right, we got Enforcer here out of the packaging. Very, very dope figure. I mean, just look at that head sculpt. Awesome, as always. I mean, these guys just kill it with their masks. Uh, and that's something that's so unique about Predators. You never see the same mask. You, know, you might see similarities, but there's always something on them that's a lot different. I mean, the way his the top of the horn sticks out, uh, the way they spike out on the sides. I mean, that is cool. I don't know what that symbol stands for. It's probably some kind of Predator thing. That's all good. I mean, NECA's detail is outstanding, as always. Good paint. Solid all around. Very, very dope. Dope, dope, dope. All right, we'll get into accessories real quick. Does come with uh, one of those disc blades. Pretty nice little detail on it. Of course, it's got interchangeable hands, so it can fit uh, where the disc blade is. And that's something uh, they've started doing recently is adding, you know, extra hands and stuff. So for the accessories. And then the only other one he comes with is the spear, which I broke. Um, I was trying to straighten it out and just snapped. Uh, these things are very brittle, so you got to be careful. But a little glue will fix that. And then he does have the uh, his shoulder-mounted cannon. You just got to attach it on there. It does articulate there. And then it goes side to side. But uh, it seems really brittle, so I just... Be careful with that and of course and it doesn't lay down too properly so that probably be the resting spot or maybe yeah I don't know just gotta find something so like I said all around good detail uh, articulation is limited of course it is NECA you know the predators there are only so many points of articulation but it's got side to side uh, it's, oop, well there goes the backpack it is hindered a little bit because of the hair. It does go up about that far. Uh, shoulders, you're not going to get much movement at all going out. That's about it. You got to go up and down. And you want to be careful because you don't want to go too far because that cord will bust. But this other side can go up pretty far. Then he's got, nope, oh, hand popped out. We'll fix that later. Does got a single jointed elbow which also has a rotation uh, blades do retract mine however are stuck I uh, have to fix that I mean that thing is stuck in there ah don't want to pull too hard it does have a waist swivel uh, legs go out about that far which is really good you can go back pretty far go out about yay far it's got double jointed knees of course and he's got very limited ankle movement. It does got side to side really good. It does have a very limited ankle pivot. So, so he's got articulation where you need it. It's all about with uh, these neck figures, the the sculpt, and just all around cool look of them. I really like this figure a lot. So I'm looking forward to getting the rest of them. All right, guys. Do a really quick update on uh, the latest of my Predator collection. Still a whole lot more I need to get. So I decided to try to redo these in a little, I don't know, clan uh, somewhat. You know, this case right here is limited to how many I can put in for one, you know, to where it still looks decent. Um, should be getting another couple in this week, hopefully. If I can make it down to the stores or if dude has some more left. So. I'm not complete. I know that. There are so many I'm missing and so many I probably will never get. Just because of the price of has gone up on them. But all the current waves, you know, I try to gra grab um, any that I can. 
definitely uh, one of my top favorite lines. And since we're talking about predators, can't help but to show once again Hot Toys Predators. Got Scar, and we got a uh, City Hunter here, which I need to actually uh, put their helmets back on. It's been about a few months. It's time for a new look. I always try to get in here every once in a while and display them differently. But yeah, I still am missing quite a few predators, but I don't know how many more I'll get. Um, if I find some cheap enough, I'll have to grab them.